One of the most effective ways to improve a person or a group's internet defense is to harden their web browsing practices. Web browsing is one of the most common forms of online interaction. Web browsing is also one of the most common areas of compromise, loss, and even heartbreak. Every experienced security professional has dealt with web compromise. For example, I have helped people who have experienced misbehaving computers, identity theft, loss of privacy, loss from their banking accounts, and loss of health, all due to compromise of their web browser. Effectively hardening the web browsing environment requires three types of action. The web users must be aware of the threat. The web users must improve their web browsing behavior. And the web browser must be properly configured and hardened. Once your web users have a realistic understanding of their situation and their choices, they will understand that good web practices benefit themselves. My current approach to improving the web browsing configuration is to configure two web browsers. One of the web browsers is hardened for use on untrusted sites. The other web browser is permissive for use on trusted sites. I usually harden Chrome. I then teach the user to use the hardened browser for general purpose and recreational web browsing. I usually set up Firefox for trusted browsing. I then teach the user to use to only use the trusted browser on trusted sites. Of course, if you wish to try this, the choice of web browsers is up to you. You may prefer to harden Firefox, Edge, Safari, Opera, whatever is your preferred hardened browser. Here is a blank Chrome window. This one is mine. Mine to keep or mine to lose. Hardening is both mental and physical preparation. The mental parts are probably the most important. But you should research which changes give you ownership and control. When I harden Chrome, I make the following changes. Under Settings, Advanced, and Privacy, I clear everything except for protect you and your device from dangerous sites and send a do not track. I find the other features annoying, but more importantly, they give away privacy and they create opportunity for external attackers. In the content settings, most of the settings are pretty good by default, but I changed five things. Under cookies, I tell it to keep local data only until you quit the browser and block third-party cookies and site data. In handlers, I tell it do not allow any site to handle protocols. Under flash, I tell it block sites from running flash. And that's probably the most important significant thing here. In background sync, I tell it, do not allow recently closed sites to finish sending and receiving data. Data. And finally, under PDF documents, I tell it, do not open PDF files in the default PDF viewer application. Next, under passwords and forms, I clear both enable autofill and offer to save passwords. I think it's best to move password handling completely out of the browser and into something that's more capable of doing a good job of it. Something like, say, keep pass. In settings, advanced downloads, I put an, in a non-obvious location to download any files and then I make sure it asks me where to save each file before it downloads it. That way I know what it's doing and when it's doing it. Finally, I install a couple of 
browser extensions. I install an AdBlock extension. Currently I'm using uBlock Origin. And I install a privacy extension. Currently I'm using EFF's Privacy Badger. Here is a bank Firefox window. When I set up Firefox for trusted browsing, I make a few common sense changes. Under Preferences and General, I ask it to always ask me where to save files. In Preferences Privacy, I set Firefox to never remember history and the location bar should only suggest bookmarks. In Preferences Security, I do not remember logins for sites nor do I use a master password. Finally, under Advanced and Data Choices, I disable all three reports. That is, I unclick the Firefox Health Report, the Share Additional, and the Crash Reports. You can make a difference. Improved web browsing ultimately makes life easier for yourself and for everybody around you.